I'm coming back from Seatway, but uh, more importantly, our team has just come back from a string of three townships to the east of Sitoe, which uh, were the township the most severely, some of the most severely affected by the recent troubles of uh, October. What they've seen is divided communities. They've seen uh, civilians that have been uh, cut off from the rest, pretty much the rest of the world, and uh, from access to essential services. Our, our people have, uh, have uh, uh, been involved in the evacuation of close to 300 uh, patients uh, uh, to a referral hospital. I mean, just imagine, for instance, uh, uh, a lady uh, needing a C-section at a hospital. Uh, the problem is the lady uh, uh, hailing from a neighborhood which is uh, uh, separated uh, uh, from the uh, hospital uh, where she's uh, to have her C-section by, by a string of villages uh, where she doesn't feel safe, where basically uh, she could not hope to cross where she alone. So what it means, it means uh, letting uh, this lady, having this lady access this medical care. That's what it means in, in tangible terms. The name of the game for us, uh, together of course with our our partners at the Myanmar Red Cross Society is to reinstitute, to reestablish access to uh, essential services and especially access to medical care. And the second thing is, of course, to uh, help improve the water and sanitation uh, situation in a context where it's difficult, where access acceptance is an issue, and an issue that can basically effectively prevent you from working. So far, ICRC has managed to, to enjoy the acceptance from broad spectrum of the communities and that has enabled it to work. That has enabled it to work without escorts, to work according to its criteria.